Hello everyone, this is the Game and Pup here, and today I am checking out Nancy Drew's Secrets Can Kill, the first game in the Nancy Drew series. So what I will say is that it took me a long while to actually get this game working. I wanted to release this on the 6th, but this is not coming out on the 6th, of course. This is coming out on a later date. But I thought since school has started back recently, not for me, but for my siblings, why not play through this? I don't know, it's a little bit of perfect timing. So let's jump straight into this. We are going to be playing this on uh, Master Dear Detective. Dad, who would have dreamed taking a semester off to visit Aunt Eloise in Florida would result in another case? Seems a student was murdered at the high school last night, and Daryl Gray, the student council president, found the body. When Aunt Eloise heard, she rushed me right over and introduced me to the principal. He asked if I would try to find out who did it and why. So it's undercover I go. My only contact is Daryl, so I'm off to solve a murder. I'm calling this case Secrets Can Kill. Love, Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. Okay, so I've never actually played through this. I played some of the Nancy Drew games when I was younger, but not fully. So, well, okay, so that's how we can turn. We got our magnifying glass. Oh, I'm so happy I actually get to finally play this original version of Nancy Drew's Secrets Can Kill. What do we got here? A clock? Oh, we got a letter. Nancy, I had to close the school library early today, uh, but if you need to do any research on your ca uh, for your case, the key to the library is in the safe. Remember that you can find the combination in the house if you need it. Be careful, Aunt Eloise. Oh, thank you. Okay, so we are in Florida at the home of our Aunt Eloise. Anything in the drawer by chance? Uh, letters? Ah, a phone card, okay. We're gonna need that. All right, let's close that, thank you. Uh, can't get in there, no. That's the front door, we don't need to go out there just yet. Uh, what do we got here? I hope the quality of the game doesn't... It's an older game, so it definitely does look... Diff... Like... Probably pixelate, so I do apologize, but... Again, it is an older game. Uh, okay, so the combination to the safe. It's all Greek letters, I see. Okay, so we need to find the combination to the safe, which hopefully we'll be able to find. Uh, let's see, we can look at the paintings, Some beautiful flower paintings. Uh, let's go, let's go in the living room. Some more flowers, I see. I guess, uh, oh. pictures of our Aunt Eloise, Eloise Drew. Um, let's see. Can we read the books? Hidden clues are everywhere. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Miniature iris, tulip. Oh, wait a minute. M-I-T-C-H. Mitch. Okay. So I am going to be writing down every single clue I find, whether they be hidden or anything like that. I'm going to be doing that throughout the Nancy Drew games that I actually play. Because, uh, I don't know, I think that's... It'll be helpful for me to keep track of everything. So, let's... Uh, I'll write it down later. At the end of this episode. Okay, anything? Nothing of interest? A portrait that we can look at? A beautiful landscape. Uh, I need something to make this work. Okay, so we need to find a key. That's evident. Anything in the books that we can look at? Which book can we look at? Ah, this one. Aha! Oh, passport with money as well. Though, we're not going to take that. That is... It's wrong to take that. Let's see. What do I got? Anything? Aha! Here we go. 
Florida. Hmm. Right. I need something to make this work. Okay, we're gonna need something for the television, most likely a remote. Anything in the drawer by chance? Oh, there's the remote. That's exactly what I was talking about. Reminder, the sophomore book sale is on Wednesday the 3rd at 5 o'clock. Um, book donations, sale, book club will now meet on Mondays. Change meeting information on school bulletin boards. Okay. So our Aunt Eloise is the head librarian. All right. Anything else by chance? No. We got the remote. I don't know what we can do that. Uh, do with that. Uh, let's see. Can we open the drawer now? We can. And we got a quarter. Okay. Anything else? Nothing else. All right. Uh. Hmm. Is there anything I might have missed by chance? Like maybe a letter or... Let me look. Aha! Here we go. Piece... Ah, from the country club. Okay. Paseo de Mar University in the Sigma Phi Kappa Delta. I think that's it. Sigma Phi Kappa Delta. Okay, nothing else. So, Sigma Phi Kappa Delta. I am just going to write that down. Okay. Let us close that. I will make some cuts here and there just so that this video is not too long. Here we go. So, Sigma Phi. Sigma? Sigma Phi Kappa Delta. There we go. Okay. I'll take the key, thank you. Anything else of interest? Here, we got a box. Ah, sliding puzzle. Oh, these are just... Oh, I'm not a big fan of sliding puzzles. Because they are a mess. So, from what I... Okay, let me get out of here. So... What is it supposed to look like? It's supposed to look like that. Okay, so I'm gonna have to memorize that. So, we got that piece in the upper left-hand corner. What is the next piece that we have? Let's see, let's see. So this is gonna take a bit for me to figure out. Hmm.
There we go. Okay. Oh, geez. That took a lot of time just to do that. But now we got this. School computer, login name, Eloise Drew, password, O Wise Elder. Good! Yep! Welcome! Sorry about that. Sorry that took so long. But, so, login name, ooh, school computer. move on so now we got all that taken care of let us move on to where we need to go so let us leave where shall we go Maxine's diner Vandalay uh, we'll go to Vandalay pharmaceuticals what can we do here uh, anything close for inventory nothing okay well, I thought we could do something I guess not Maxine's Diner. Ooh, this place looks nice. What do we got here? Ah, the boards. Also specifically looking like... Wait a minute. This is spelling out something. It's another hidden clue. Soup ladle. Bolt cutter. Oh. Okay. Soup ladle bolt cutter. I wonder what that's about. I don't... Hmm. I guess we're gonna find out. Let's leave that. Uh... Let's go back here. Oh, oh we can go back here. Ooh. Oh. Wait, why did the music get all... Okay, soup ladle. Why is the music all? Uh, we got. Oh! Oh! That. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> that seems dangerous. But now we can actually look around at everything. Sliced tomatoes, okay. Anything else of interest to us? Anything else? No, nothing. We got bolt cutters, that's nice. But that seems dangerous to hold up a pipe with a soup ladle. Uh, anything else by chance? Uh, just looks like a to-do list, chores. Okay, what do we got here? Yeah, what do we got here? So we got random numbers. What if they're not random, though? Oh, Maxine's birthday. Hmm. I bet you it's an alphanumeric code. Okay. So one equals A, two equals B, so on and so forth. Okay, let me figure this out then. Okay, so I did figure it out. So, again, one equals A, two equals B, so on and so forth. Jake's fate happened deliberately. Gravity was not his worst enemy. That's interesting, that's, okay. So another hidden clue as to what happened to Jake, giving us more information on what happened to his fate. Okay, let us... I did see a person while we were here. 
Uh, anything that we could look at? Pictures, nothing else. Did see a person, but before we do that, ooh, can we actually play? Ooh, paintball. Oh, we can't actually play it. Oh, well, that's upsetting. Uh, what do we got here? Jukebox. And we can put a coin in. Uh, secrets can kill. Big girls don't die. Socks rattle and fall. Uh, blackout. Help me, Nancy. Okay, these are weird. <laughs> very, very weird. Okay, let us... I don't know. We'll do Secrets Can't Kill. Or that one, whatever. I can sort of hear it. Uh, oh, another alphanumeric. 1 equals A2. So, red letters. Jake. Huh. Okay. You look like you're going to make an excellent addition to Paseo Del Mar High School student body. Do I? I'm Daryl Gray, Renaissance man, short order cook, student council president, and professional escort to pretty new students. Oh, he's a flirt. And <laughs> do you really think so? <laughs> Definitely. You're amazing. You've got a mysterious quality I find very intriguing. Really? <laughs> Mysterious? You seem different from the other girls. I think I'm going to enjoy being your contact. I'm here to help. <laughs> if the police trust me, so can you. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, we should point out, as I remember, Daryl is a- or not Daryl, Nancy is actually with someone. Daryl, you should know I'm involved with someone. I've been seeing him for a while. His name is Ned. That's mm -hmm. cool. I always like to check out my options. Isn't Ned worried about you? <laughs> worried? If I were Ned, I'd be worried about leaving an attractive girl like you alone with a murderer on the loose. Who was murdered? Who was murdered? A student named Jake Rogers. When I found him, it looked like someone had pushed him face first down a flight of stairs. Oh. It was nasty. Face first? Face first? It looked like it to me. One of the police officers said Jake either fell down the stairs on his face or someone beat him up first. Hmm. Tell me about him. Tell me about Jake. He wasn't exactly a friend. He came by the diner a few times. Nancy, I hate to leave such a beautiful detective, but I've got a hot grill waiting for me. See you later, okay? Yeah, and for some reason you had bolt cutters that were keeping up a pipe. Okay. Well, that is Daryl. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think what I'm going to do is end the episode here. I feel like this is a good stopping point for us. So I do hope y'all are enjoy have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Comment down below. Once you've done that, please hit the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified whenever a new video is uploaded. Hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone is staying safe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Yeah.